is Angie and I am back. Now listen y'all, the devil is busy. Cause child, I done done this video two times. So for some reason, something didn't want this video to get up. Okay, so this must, this must gonna be a fire topic. Okay, so now, I don't know if y'all had a chance to watch my TikTok, but I told y'all that um, one of my little niecey poos reached out to me and asked me, Auntie Angie, how soon is too soon to get real, real nasty with your man? And I said, well, how nasty you talking? She said, real nasty. Okay, now, y'all know this ain't a kid-friendly topic. Y'all know this is for the girls, for adults, for grown folks. So I'm going to give y'all a minute to go and get them kids up out of the room. But before y'all go, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and join the Red Cup Friday topics, okay? Where we ladies talk about everything sexual health as far as women. No topic is off limits. I am not afraid of talking about anything sexual. No matter what age, we should all have a healthy sex life, okay? So y'all go and get them kids up out of here and I'll give y'all a second. Okay, ladies, so y'all know I came prepared, right? Now, y'all know on this platform, this is where we do thought-provoking conversations, okay? So, I don't give y'all the answers to y'all lives. What I simply do is I present the information to you all. I give you all some questions that you need to ask and put your life into perspective, and then you figure out how would you like to proceed, okay? This is going to be a topic for... Um, where I'm going to gear towards this young lady, but I'll also express why it's different for a woman my age or for a woman that may be a little bit older. We are all at different places in our lives, ladies, so let's keep that in mind, okay? First thing I want to ask, straight out of the gate, right? Because y'all know I asked niece, and niece didn't re reply and let me know. How nasty is it? Okay, honey, now this is why this is important, Okay. I worked in an adult toy store. Y'all know that's why I started this platform because I'm used to talking to people about, you know, sexual topics. <laughs> and so I had a couple that came into my store that were newlyweds. <clears throat> okay. And this woman wanted to introduce her man to fetish porn. And this is what she said to me. Now, keep in mind, these people are on their honeymoon. Okay. So... I went ahead and I ushered them over to the shelf. So, you know, me doing my job, I'm going to ask you, well, what kind of fetish are you looking for? What are you interested in? She asked for the golden shower. Okay. And for those of y'all who don't know who R. Kelly is, <laughs> for those of y'all who don't know what a golden shower is, it's when you want your partner to pee on you. Wow. So what are you going to do? Oh, motherfucker. Here we go again. Urinate on you, if we're going to use the proper terminology. So imagine how the man looked in front of me and how I felt when I saw this man like he was turning every other color but his natural color. And he just looked like he was in pure shock and disgust. So then he looked at her and he was like, well, who's doing that? And I said, that would be you. Another player. And There's the line. <laughs> and you just sauced it. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> who else is here? You know, now this is a, a clearly something a little bit more abnormal than usual because I don't think all of us are doing golden showers, girl. Now, you know, I'm an auntie, so I don't know what y'all young folks are doing, but I don't think that that's a common practice in, in your every day-to-day -day, uh, sexual exchange. Now, that's just my thoughts. The reason why this is important is because I feel like for certain things, you can kind of wait. If you're a woman and you want to introduce toys into your bedroom, or let's say you may have like sexual preferences to try sex in public places or exotic places. That may be something that, you know, during your relationship as things mature, you can kind of bring those things out. However, sweetie, if you know that you're a woman that you have kinks and fetishes, 
I'm sorry. I'm a person that I believe that somewhere up in the beginning, you should kind of start introducing your uh, person to those conversations. And I feel like there's a lot of ways that you can do it without necessarily exposing yourself, right? Um, there's a lot of podcasts and, and, and books and, and things out there that you can like literally open the subject without opening the subject yourself. A lot of issues that we have as women is we don't feel comfortable bringing certain things to the table out of, you know, not wanting to turn your partner off. You don't want to look a certain way. This may be something that you desire to try, but you've never tried, but you already know, girl, once it's out there, girl, <laughs> you the freak of the week. Okay. You, 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 you might, you might just lose out. Okay. So I need y'all to first start there. If it's a kink, get into it early. Do not marry somebody knowing you want somebody to pee on you. Do not marry somebody or get engaged to somebody and then suddenly you want to bring another person into the bedroom because the new little thing that I'm seeing y'all young girls do and even some women my age is y'all want to not just have a threesome. Y'all want two dudes. <laughs> what the <laughs> oh shit and i'm gonna just be real honest with y'all not every man is going to be interested in that and this can even be used for men as well like y'all need to let y'all girl know certain things you know but i'm i'm gearing this towards us ladies okay lady if you know i, I met a lady before who said she wanted a husband that was going to be a swinger with her now Again, y'all, this is this is a, a judgment-free zone. So we are talking about sexual health. This may not be something that you're into or I'm into, but we're gonna have a conversation about, okay? And yes, there are people that have different types of kinks. I believe that there's something, someone for everybody, something for everything, okay? Even if it ain't my thing, all right? So let's keep this rolling. So the next thing that I think you should ask yourself is, what do you want out of life? Now, I kind of debated if I should have started with this first, but y'all know y'all like the nasty trifling shit up front, okay? So I got that out of there. When I ask you this, um, as a young lady, I feel like this is a little bit difficult because where our young ladies are today, like my daughter is only 20, almost 21 years old and she swears up and down that she doesn't want to get married and she doesn't want kids. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't picture myself being a wife and a mother, but at the end of the day, I did get married and I did have kids. All of that to say, you know, you have to look at your relationship. This young lady said that she and her dude, like she was about to take it to the next level. She didn't say, you know, what level she was trying to go to. Now, this is where it becomes a concern. Right now, they're building a relationship. However, when sex is involved, sometimes that can make or break a relationship. So all of that to say, you have to ask yourself, like, what is it that I want? Do I want this man to look at me like his wife? And do I not want to scare him off and possibly not get the sexual relationship that I want? Or do I want to risk this possible relationship and let him know about my sexual desires and we'll either align or we may not? That's something you have to ask yourself. Now, when I was... 21 years old, um, I thought for my generation, you didn't want to come off looking whorish to a man, right? Now, nowadays, you know, y'all younger generation, y'all a little bit more, you know, y'all a little more out there. You know, the guys are a bit more open-minded when it comes to toys and exploring certain things. I was with a conservative man, so 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 uh, uh, Bay wasn't playing that shit, okay? So there were certain things that by me asking probing questions about simple things, I could tell that he wasn't open-minded to it. So you already know if he ain't open-minded to this, girl, he ain't going to be open-minded to that. So I already knew. However, all of that to say, yes, I was a wife. Yes, I was a mother, but did I have the uh, sexual relationship that I wanted? No, I did not. Now, I made that sacrifice. Now, you got some women who going to go marry the good guy and hoe around with the nasty one. 
Okay, now that's, that just wasn't my thing. So I'm just telling you the way I did things because, niece, you asked me. Now, for an older woman on this topic, I feel like for a woman my age and older, like if you're in your mid to late 30s on up, I feel like, especially if you're a woman who you've already been married or marriage is not the first thing, because by now we know who we are, right? So at the end of the day, even if marriage is your desire, you already know the amount of time you have on the clock. Don't go saying, I want to have a husband and then I'm going to be with this man three, four years. And then when the marriage start getting old, now you want to be um, having this man peeing on you, spanking you, choking you, giving you facials at the very end. And now you're somebody that this man don't even know. I feel like as grown women, don't waste your time. Have those conversations more upfront than a younger person. Young people kind of have a little bit more time on the clock to play around and goof off. Me personally, I don't have any uh, kinks. I don't think. I don't. I don't think what I like is a kink. But who the hell does? You know what I mean? Who, who think that they kinky? <laughs> But at the end of the day, um, I'm a person that I have been divorced. So to my little niece, my preferences are a bit different. I'm a bit more upfront with my sexual preferences and desires. Reason being because, like I said, I'm not having the same kind of marriage. Whether I get married again or not, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm 50-50. I've already been a wife. It's a beautiful thing in its place. But am I ever going to be a woman that's going to sign up for another relationship where the sex ain't popping how I want it to pop? No. <laughs> no. No, I'm not. And for those of you, like for the younger people or even for the grown people who say that, you know, women in their 30s and 40s, like they lead young ladies wrong. Um, and at the end of the day, we're older. Sweetie, let me tell you something. I will be humping until I'm 98 uh, in the grave. Do you understand what I'm saying? And with all of the medical things that are offered out there for women, just because a woman is close to menopause or going through menopause or beyond menopausal ages, don't think that we ain't still throwing it in a circle. Okay, <laughs> next. Is sex more of a priority for you than marriage? Now, like I said, young sis, this is going to be more so for the older women, right? Or for a woman my age. For me, like I said, I've already been married. If you know that you haven't been married, your desire may be marriage before anything. Now, if I were talking to my daughter, what I'm going to advise my daughter is, is to wait and do it all at once. The reason why the divorce rate is so high is because a lot of times people settle and sign up for things that you already know you can't stick with, right? When I knew that my ex-husband was a bit more square than I, a very, very conservative man, right? Um, bottom line, I'm like, a, you know, we could do it anywhere, however, wherever. And he was more so like, no, there's a set time and a place and you're my wife and respectfully, we're going to do this here. And I mean, that's cute. That's cute because I like to be respected and all. But, um, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, <laughs> when I'm on that type of time, I'm on time. Okay. Right here, right now. Where, what are we talking for? But all of that to say, I was a woman that I knew I could suppress, um, you know, any other desires. Because for one, I only wanted my husband. I always wanted my husband. So me playing around with another man or me thinking that I was going to get that little thrill somewhere else. Yeah, I wasn't willing to risk it all. A lot of people are not like that. And I'm going to just be real, real honest, right? When you see a lot of married women that cheat, they cheat because they settle for a man that they really didn't want like that. He may have been a good guy, but they knew up front that he wasn't the man for them. So you need to ask yourself that, right? Is this something that I can suppress even if I never get this sexually in my relationship? Because y'all know I just don't. I just don't support women being like cheating hoes. I'm sorry. And and it's really, really common now because women want to do the same things that the men are doing. And, and I understand it because men have been doing it for so long and getting away with it for so long. But my whole thing is, sweetheart, when y'all looking at all of the itches and scratches that's out there, I just don't want the drip. I'm sorry. Okay? I, I, I just don't want the drip. Okay? 
So the next thing that I wanted to ask or say was never leave evidence unless that's your husband. Always control and protect your privacy. Okay, now ladies, some people have this kink where they want to record themselves. And y'all younger generation, y'all are good for this. Y'all little girls, y'all just be sexting. And I'm not opposed to sexting. I just feel like sexting should be more so for husband and wife. Just because I feel like when a young lady does something sexual on camera, um, how it's put out, it's like you look like a cheap hoe. You look like, like somebody has pretty much exposed you. If you're married and your husband put you out there, he just look like a low-down clown. Because at the end of the day, that's sacred. Y'all can do whatever y'all want in y'all marriage. I don't believe that the camera is off limits when you're married. But my thing is, who you are today is not who you're going to be tomorrow. So to my young sis, like let's say you have this kink and like you want your man to record you. You know, because some people like to relive it. Some people like to keep their recordings as a trophy. Some people like to see their skills. Whatever the reason is. The thing that I try and explain to you young folks that y'all don't want to hear is... Who you are today is not who you're going to be 10 years ago, okay? If I went back and looked at my skill set 10 years ago, I'm going to probably say I was, well, based on who I am today, child, I would say I'm trash, I'm boring. Because at the end of the day, to be real honest, I really didn't put in very much effort because I was bored right and because i already knew that he really wasn't interested in what i was interested in it's like really where is this gonna go sis you i always tell people that one of the things that i've always desired was to learn to live in my truth and again as a woman being brought up the way that i was brought up i was brought up in church i was brought up in the 90s okay to where we were groomed to be wives my whole family everybody in my family was married so that was the number one priority versus like compatibility as far as a kink goes right sometimes like i know that a lot of y'all young people y'all a lot of y'all are bi curious bisexual by bi this by that and whereas I feel like y'all generation is more open to it, I do believe that some of these things can possibly be deal breakers. And if you want to have a long, a long successful relationship, see, because a lot of people think that the relationship is successful because it's long. No. No. I had a, a lengthy relationship. And at the end of the day, was it successful? Obviously not, which is why I'm divorced. But now that I am of age and I'm grown and I'm an adult, I know who I am. I'm sure of who I am. One thing that I know about myself is when I meet the right person and I decide that, you know, we're going to have a long-term relationship, one thing I will do is always express to my partner that I want to leave the door of exploration open in the bedroom because I ain't, you know, um, and I mean, I, you know, hey, the thing is, I, I'm not saying that I want to close any door and the thing that we all have to accept in life and the reality of what most of these married people won't tell you is everybody thinks that the success is in the marriage. No, the success is in the honesty in the marriage, right? You being with me just because I look like I'm good wife material, but at the end of the day, you cheating over here because she's slobbing you down how you want her to. And you know what I mean? It's like, is that really a successful marriage? So therefore, my definition of, you know, a successful relationship is not in the signing of the paper, the wedding day, or how many years we have under our belt. Was my marriage, my marriage was a faithful marriage. It was beautiful in the moments that it was beautiful, but we were incompatible in the very end. And what I wish I knew then that I know now is how important and energizing sex is for me as a woman.
right? I don't have other vices. I'll sip here and there. I don't do any drugs. You know, I, I don't have any real like uh, serious uh, interest in things like that. I prefer to have sex with my partner and a lot of it as, as often as possible. And guess what? In real adult life, it's not always possible. So let's not even gas you up to believe that it's going to be all of that. If you really want to know the truth, married life, sometimes life takes priority over sex. But what I do feel is important that y'all need to know is you do want somebody compatible so that when that time goes down, it goes down. Do you understand? So that is what I got for y'all today, girl. I'm hoping that you ain't asking this man to pee on you, girl. But if you are, child, just, just you know, handle it with care. Okay? Be responsible and be safe. So if y'all came this far in the video, girls, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up this video. Y'all get in them comments. Let me know when y'all think y'all should get up there and um start talking about sex i feel like third date before this man go to spending too too much money on you and taking you out here there and everywhere i really want to know if you know if we're just building friendship and it's strictly platonic we don't we don't even need to have those conversations but this is for somebody who you potentially want to jump on someday and hump on someday so sis i say third date at least you need to start asking some questions and having some conversations to kind of put those feelers out there to see what is it that he likes okay i'll see y'all next time bye